Hey everyone, welcome to another video by WG Productions. Today we are going to be making an animated, a simple animated and clean animated face cam. We are just going to have a shine pass through the face cam and this will be not a, such a distracting animation for you playing your games. So if you are new to the channel then uh, definitely do subscribe and let's get straight to the video. So before jumping into After Effects, we are first of all going to make our face cam and then we are going to animate this uh, in After Effects uh, by a very simple animation. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, create a new this uh, new canvas. Uh, we have this as 1920 by 1080 pixel and uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, click this button over here and have this solid color over here, black, just to see uh, the face cam uh, will be very visible on this black background. So next I'm going to create a new layer over here and then I'm going to select this triangle, sorry, rectangle tool from over here and then click once in the center over here. Then I'm going to type 1280 by 720. So this will be my size for the face cam and this is uh, the uh, 16 ratio 9 size but uh, you can have any size that you want depending upon uh, which camera you are using. So uh, for this I will have this as no fill and for the stroke I am just going to give it as a black fill stroke 30 stroke uh, sorry instead of black let's just do this so that it's visible and uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, just go ahead and I am just going to select the different color because I am going to select a different color for this. So I'm just going to select the new layer icon and then I have this color selected over here. You can copy this color code from this screen, select OK. Uh, then I'm just going to hit P on my keyboard to select the pen tool. Then I'm going to zoom in, and just make a different style design over here with the pen tool. Once this is complete, I'm just going to right click, select fill path, foreground color is OK, select OK, then hit delete once. So you will delete this uh, path over here. Now what you need to do is press Ctrl J on this layer, this will be copied. And what you need to do is by selecting this layer, you can select Ctrl T on your keyboard and just flip this horizontally and match this with this. And uh, then you can select both of these layers, press Ctrl E on your keyboard and you will merge these both of these layers together. So this is a nice design over here. I can uh, just uh, move this over here. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, now I'm going to just copy this by pressing Ctrl J and Ctrl T downwards. And I'm going to just make this consistent design over here. Just like this and uh, press Ctrl J again and Ctrl T and select rotate clockwise and within the center this is going to snap. I'm going to move it a little bit over here. Then do the same with this one. Hold down shift to drag this in a straight line with horizontal. And I think this is good enough. So I will have this face cam design over here, just like this. You can have these uh, larger as well, but uh, this is uh, okay. Now I'm going, just going to add a gradient on this rectangle over here. So for adding a gradient, I'm just going to go ahead and double click this blank space over here, select the gradient overlay. I'm going to go into this gradient, add another over here. And for this gradient, for this color over here, I'm just going to select this darker color. For this color over at the end, I'm just going to select the same color from this. And for the center, I'm just going to select a different color so that it's visible. I think this color is good enough. I'm just going to hit OK. Then I will have this uh, little gradient over here so that uh, I created a darker color over here because uh, the shine is going to pass through this and it's uh, much easier to see this shine animation 
once you have a dark color on the frame. So now in order to export this, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these layers and merge them together. Right click and select merge layers. You can also select Control E on your keyboard and uh, then you just go ahead and delete this background and we can name this as background and we can name this as face cam. So this is uh, this will be a very easy to animate in After Effects. So now I'm going to just save this file and uh, I will export this in After Effects. So in order to animate this in uh, After Effects, we basically just have to create a new composition. And uh, this will be a 1920 by 1080 pixel composition and the time for this we can have it as uh, maybe six seconds is fine. Then uh, hit OK. And once you will have this composition, you can just go ahead and import your file from over here in project. You can right click, select import file. And then you can just basically select the file that you have saved. This Photoshop file over here. And uh, for this, you can have the composition retained in retain layer sizes and editable layer styles. This will keep the layers intact. And then you can just go ahead and double click this and this you will appear over here. So uh, in order to just animate this with a simple light sweep, you can just write CC light sweep over here and you can just go ahead and place this effect over here on the face cam. And you will see this little uh, dot over here and you can move the light just like this. By the way, if you are enjoying the video so far, then be sure to leave a like and uh, comment below if you want to see more content like this and definitely do subscribe. So I will uh, just go ahead and uh, change the angle a little bit and just so this light moves like this. So this is a sharp light and we can have a smooth light as well. Uh, there will You cannot see a lot of difference uh, just now because uh, this is a face cam. A lot of difference can be seen on words or something like that. And for this color, you can have any color that you like. But if you want to go for consistency, then we will select this same color over here. This one, select OK. And uh, this is a really nice glow, just like this. So I'm going to drag this uh, at the end over here. And uh, I'm just going to hit the center button at zero. Then after two seconds, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this at the end. And you will see how this will animate just like this. And this is a really cool uh, animation. Very simple one, but it's not very distracting once we are playing the games. And I'm just going to end this animation at around four seconds. Press N on my keyboard. This will close out the animation. And uh, this, you can see that there's a delay. We want this delay. We do not want this animation to be just having the light uh, just go like lasers. Now the next thing, I'm just going to go ahead and select U on my keyboard and uh, just go ahead, select both of these keyframes. And I'm going to press going to F, F9 just to easy ease them. If your F9 key is making T in the kitchen, then you just have to right click, select keyframe assistant and easy ease, just like mine. This will just go ahead and ease out the animation. So in order to export this, we are just going to select this uh, icon over here, which is the toggle transparency, hide our background, select file, export, add to render queue, select this lossless. You can select any option that you like, AVI or QuickTime work best, RGB plus alpha for transparency, select okay. And you can have this output destination over here. And you can just go ahead and render this file. So guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, then uh, definitely do leave a like and comment if you want to see more face cam designs or more crazy cool animations for After Effects. I'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks so much for watching.